just a month ago, a major push was being made to establish electrical connections across the ferry car park. The excavation work was all intended to house a vault. Meanwhile, a concrete wall was being poured on the north side of North Finger Dock. Concrete you'll see is going to feature heavily in this update. Nearby, the carpenters continued their sterling work on the new passenger terminal. And across the gap, there were forms in place for concrete on the south finger dock. With the scars from the day before still evident, work continued on the 13th to push cabling across the car park. Disruption to the ferry service was minimised by a dedicated team working overnight and long hours. A little bit of flexibility was demanded of all parties. Work carried into another day, with the emphasis on making everything good and consolidation. As we entered September, it was clear that concrete had been poured on the south finger dock. The frame of the building to house hydraulics was also clear. Completed walkways, railings and lamp posts were on the south side, and office trailers had been moved to the west end. Work continued on the building that will house the main electrical switch. September 6th was a red letter day. As the Wolf Islander 4 loaded, substantial concrete was added to the North Finger Dock. In scenes very reminiscent of work on the third crossing, a large travelling screeder worked the dock. A major concrete pour makes demands of every member of a large team. Good professional finishing makes all the difference to a job. The scale of this work can be judged by the fact that trucks continue to roll most of the day. It didn't go unnoticed that roofing had commenced on the south side of the new passenger building. Just a week later, two more sides had been covered. Coming right up to date, we can see considerable progress on the south finger dock. The Dolphin and the North Finger Dock are in pretty good shape too. The new passenger terminal is certainly taking shape. A 
what a complex task it must have been to build this roof. The green bags you see are rock wool insulation. The hydraulic shed and utility building are in good shape. Note the considerable length of railing now in place. We'll close this update with these mystery objects. If anyone can explain, answers on a postcard, please. Thanks for watching.